In this video, we are going to go over the first half of the ruler postulate and the protractor postulate. The ruler postulate, or in our case is going to be P9, says that the points on a line can be matched one to one with the real numbers. And we know this because we can measure a segment. We can measure from one point to another point, so we can match the first point, let's call that A, with some number. We usually line it up with zero, but it can be any number. And then we can match point B with another number. So the real number that corresponds to that point is the coordinate of the point and the distance between points A and B is written as AB. So the measurement of the segment, AB, would just be written as AB. And the distance is the absolute value of the difference of the coordinates of A and B. So subtracting A from B or B from A and taking the absolute value of that will give you the distance. And we will go over the second half of distance in a later video when we go over distance and midpoints. But for now, just focus on that the points on a line can be matched one to one with the real numbers. And this is the ruler postulate. Now let's go over the protractor postulate. So the protractor postulate, in our case P10, says consider a line AB and a point C on one side of that line AB. The ray AC can be matched one to one with the real numbers from 0 to 180. So that's saying we're taking some line AB and we're putting a point C either on this side or this side. So let's put it right here. If we create that ray, AC, this ray can be matched one to one with a real number from 0 to 180 degrees. And the measure of this angle CAB is written as M angle CAB. So that stands for the measure of angle CAB. And the measure is equal to the absolute value of the difference between the real numbers matched with ray AC and ray AB on the protractor. Usually we don't have to calculate the difference because we line one ray up with zero and then measure up from zero. So that would give us the positive measurement of the angle. So for example we would line our protractor up with ray AB and then measure the C which looks like it's roughly 30 degrees. Or if there was some other line but we still wanted to measure CAB. AB falls on 50 and AC falls on 80. And the absolute value of 80 minus 50, or the absolute value of 50 minus 80, is still 30 degrees. And this is the protractor postulate. 